that post credit scene where Nia say, wait, aren't all spirits humans? What a twist. It's not really a twist. These are like elements that's been shown in season one, how we named Toka. We thought that she was just OG spirit, but there's other spirits, hybrids like Kotori exists, and Miku, for example, right? Powers given by the Phantom. What's going on here? There's some deeper shit going on. We see Westcott's new, it's not even new. It's discovered what his goal was. It's to get the inverted Sephiroth crystal so that he can collect all the Dragon Balls and become just as strong as Shido. It's kind of crazy how Westcott has to do all this crazy scientific experimentations and, and so much work while Shido just has to like kiss a girl. Why? Like beyond just this like goofy harm element of kissing a girl and forming a harm, why can he do this? I don't know. I think that's going to be season five ter ter uh, territory. We're getting into a new season. Maybe it'll be Kurumi focused or later on. It'll be. Who knows? Let's begin today's reaction though. What does this mean? Toka, you never knew? I know I was. So I figured so others were too. Uh, uh, fuck! No, we should have looked into what we had to chip. Oh. So... Damn. So I, so I guess that that's not like a direct hard fact, you know, all spirits being humans. Uh, 33? 34? <laughs> I refuse to turn 30. 34. Kind of, I guess. He's looking a little bit more, I don't know, mean today. A uh, sir? Not even ma'am, okay. Yeah, sir, what happened? Ah, you know, her friend group, they're getting all married while she feels like she's getting left behind, that she's getting older, you know, societal expectations of women that she... Oh, no. <laughs> you shouldn't be telling kids this topic, girl! Look at this aura. Okay, let's just take attendance now. Nobody guessed. Nobody dared to guess. Wait! Don't say that so casually! No, stop! But what do you mean? Space quick alarm. Space quick alarm! No, uh, no wait. You... Coincidence? What have you done? Now you should exchange your soul! You sold your soul for this! Who is this? Kind of CGI like right now floating around, but. Oh. Zodiac. Oh, I like her design. Hello, Zodiac. What kind of power does she have? Oh. Magical girl. She's a magical girl, dude. That wand. It's a key? It's a key! It's a key! Segva, Michael, Mikael. So he goes in and you just you just disable them. Anything he goes in disabled. Pretty OP, yeah. I guess. I mean, that's granted that you get hit by the key, right? What other powers does it have? Oh, black hole. Hmm. And redirect. Okay. Okay. So she can use the key to basically disable, you know, opponents, but she can also redirect their uh, attacks using know, that kind of portal. She's able to control what the portal like. So this isn't just defensive, it's like utility. So like, like, you could enter the portal and she could like send you somewhere else. It'd be pretty useful when she's on our team. She just take a little nap in space though. Like she just chills there in space and just... Take a nap? Uh, okay. Ah, project an image of Shido into space and basically go on a little space date. Hello? Ah! And he's dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm? Uh, stop! Stop attacking! It's a hologram, so obviously the key won't work, right? I'm a 3D image. What's up? Yeah, if she knew, then she could probably put the key into the camera, right? And it'd be done. Yeah, what's your name? Does she have a name? She does. Mukuro. Okay, uh, let's be lovers. Uh, three, option three. I'm Itsukashido, your future husband. I'm gonna make you. I couldn't read it all, but three seems like the most degenerate one. I'm always gonna pick the most degenerate one. Why, guys? Y'all pick three? 
Okay, we're going on the offensive. Oh, okay, okay. Your future husband. You know what husband means? What she says, okay. What she says, okay. Yeah? Is it good? Ah, oh, it's just neutral? Hmm. To go on a date with you. Uh, we love you. What's going on? Ah, uh, not gonna be that easy. She speaks in third person. But it's kind of lonely here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. Don't you want to come hang out? We got like a spirit dorm and everything. Hmm. Is she acting tough or does she just have no emotions? Like you don't feel it. No emotions. Oh, that's why she didn't react. Locked her heart. Literally, is there a key? But if she's locked her heart, then no matter what, if he kisses, it doesn't do anything. She needs to open her heart. Something, she probably got betrayed or something. Her heart, got, her heart got broken, so she locked it away so that she can't feel pain anymore. She doesn't care about happy. She's just neutral now. That is also kind of true, right? It's up to her at the end of the day, but... Muku's just chilling. I mean, it's kind of reasonable, to be honest. Maybe? Uh, you know, they do get nerfed and they have gotten in trouble before in the past seasons. Never really thought of it like that, you know? I will stop this planet. You can do that? Well, I mean, I guess she would just... Oh, she knew that it was a camera all along, but... She can just stop the orbital... Turn? Really? That is dangerous. This is just an arms race now. That power is insane. Would Westcott just stop the orbital spin? But how can we seal Mukuro if she's already sealed her heart off? Like, you can't... The kiss won't work. I'm already hearing it. Hello. They're always eavesdropping, though. What could they do? Maybe Muku... I don't know. Hey, Muku, look at our other spirits. They're so fun. Be friends with us. Yes. Yes. Maybe we can use help. Kurumi can, you know, use... No, it's not... They, we're just abusing Yod Bet, right? Oh, new Fraxinus! Excelsior. Okay. Yeah, whenever like our like ship gets destroyed, I'm not too worried. We had a temporary base, but eventually we're gonna get like upgrades and shit like this, right? I wonder how much this cost Elliot. <laughs> Probably so much money. Wait. It's got an AI system that we can... It's an AI... Oh, dude! Another waifu, a digital waifu, right? <laughs> Maria. This is fun. You know, she kind of has like a, a kind of zesty personality too, right? She just kind of talked back and she know, hey, if I were a spirit, my happiness would drop. Personal goods. What do we bring? Oh, but no, they need them. <laughs> Please, the dimensional breaker needs the figurines. Call girl. Ex-wife is bad marriage, right? Who's the call girl? Oh, it's the... <laughs> We're spying? Girl, that's what you're doing? Yo, this is kind of fucked up. This, you're, you're using Fraxus tech on public like that? Oh, finally! I just know that he has a super epic voice. Probably forgot his memory, though. He probably knew Ellie from the past, though, right? I don't know. Nia kind of had a different look, too, when Elliot was mentioned. Nia, what do you know about Elliot? Yo, doesn't that look like Ellen? Is that Ellen's bigger sister? Elliot Baldwin Woodmanda. I love his voice acting, bro. He's a big boss. He just funds everything here. But the girl behind Elliot, dude, doesn't it look like Ellen? Like the eyes and the hair, it's pretty much the same. 
The infounding members with Westcott back in the old days. Yes, because their experimentation probably led to the first space quake, right? I don't know what the goal was, but that's what the company was for in the beginning. What? Okay, we're gonna get some answers, maybe? Yo, that's Ellen, bro! It's Ellen's family, sister! Okay. And Ellen's a founder, too. Power of spirit. But how did you even know such a thing? They manifested the spirit of origin, right? They created it or... Karen Mather, same last name. Ellen's family. Yeah, so they kind of just split apart, right? They're like, oh, 150 million death? This is fucked. Little sister. Yeah, Ellen sometimes just looks like a lolly sometimes. Mm. And that's why Ratatoskra was for, uh, formed, right? After they fucked up at DEM. Love? Love between who? L love between... Elliot and the Spirit of War? Uh, okay, so my man just fell for the first spirit ever. Oh. That's a very, like, a noble reason. No, no, that's actually quite genuine. Shido can really relate to that. Yeah, El Elliot seems like a really good person, right? I mean, he probably did some fucked up shit in the past with Isaac, but, you know, it's probably not intentional. He can't see very far? Hello. You like what you see? You look like the boy. What boy? What boy? What boy? There's some model boy. No, why? We need the plot. Why would you stop talking? Why? He was attacking. I need the plot. Fuck. Westcott's attacking? Really? Holy shit. They're going on the offensive so hard. I thought I'd chill for a bit, but nah. My man fucking going off. Yo. Isaac and Elliot just needs to have a makeup session, you know? They, they need to... They, I don't know what happened between them, but they just need to talk it out, man. Okay, but what did you mean by I look like the boy? Explain yourself, old man. Don't you dare leave! So close, yet so far. Oh shit, he just straight up showing up by himself? Okay. Long time no see, like damn. My man is spamming the shit out of Billsy Bub. Who's gonna help us out right now? Kurumi show up. Kurumi, are you around? Maybe Zodiac? Why would Zodiac show up? Elite? I wanna see Elite versus Isaac right now. Are we just gonna get sucked up, really? Uh, uh okay. Okay. We're finally getting so many answers, but at the same time, they just leave off at the most important part. Elliot says, hmm, you really look like the boy. It's almost as if Shido is some kind of artificial human created and modeled after this boy. What does this boy have relations with? I don't know. Some kind of boy that has to do with the origin spirit? I don't know, but it's pretty much confirmed that, you know, Isaac and Elliot, they made DM in the past. They tried to manifest spirit energy and shit, and shit went wrong. And Elliot just said, all right, I'm fucking out, along with Ellen's little sister. And now they're just kind of hating each other, even though I bet, you know, they just need to fucking get over it, man. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, Zodiac, she looks really cool. Her design's sick. Her powers are sick. Tenth spirit, right? And at the very end here, when... Isaac just fucking just put us all sucked us in. We didn't even fight back. And where are we going to go from here? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.